On April 15, 2011, a 911 call was made from a store in Oakland County, Michigan, after it was being robbed by a 12-year-old girl. An employee grabbed her arm and took away her S&W semi-automatic rifle. He then held down the 12-year-old, who was crying and wearing a mask, while another employee called 911. April 15, 2011, 9, 59, 20 p.m. 911, where's your emergency? Um, somebody was trying to rob us. She's outside right now. We're holding her down. Okay, where are you? What address are you at? 2150 North Milford Road. Okay, who is it? That's, what city or township are you in? We're in um, Highland Township. Okay. What, how are they trying to rob you? She basically had a mask on and pointed a gun to me. Okay. And we, she's on the floor right now. Who's holding her down? Uh, one of my employees. She's only, she can't be 16 years old. Okay. What, uh, where are you at? What's the business? It's, a, it's called Country Lake Food Center on Milford Road. Okay, and she did have a gun? Yeah, she pointed a gun to me. I thought it was a joke at first. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stay in line with you until my deputies get out there, okay? Is the gun... Oh. Are you the clerk? Yeah, they're on their way, Chris. He's holding her down right now. And it's a teenage female, you said? Girl, yes. How old does she look to be? She looks, doesn't even look more than 16 years old. We thought we'd seen somebody walk behind the counter. Okay. How many people are in the store right now? There's me and two employees. Okay, where, where is the gun at? The gun, I don't even know if it's a, if it's a, it's, it's, it's over here. Okay. It's, is it on the floor, or is it... It's on the floor, yeah. I, she was pointing it toward me. I, I, you know, I, I took it, I grabbed her arm, and I called one of my employees that was outside, and he took her to the ground. He's holding okay. her to the ground. Okay, everybody's on the way, ma'am. I just, I don't want anybody, the gun is away from her on the floor, floor, correct? Yeah, the gun is on the floor. Okay, I don't want I don't anybody to grab it. I don't know if it's a real it. gun, I don't know if it's a fake gun, I have no idea. Okay. Okay, what is... What does she look like? She's does she have a mask black. on? She's in all black. They cannot walk in the store. Okay, does she have a mask on? She had a mask on, yeah. She had a hoodie on and a mask. Okay, what's going on right now? Is your manager still ever hold, held yeah, down? Yeah, holding her down, yeah. She's crying. Okay. Okay, is she fighting him or? No, she's not fighting him. She's not fighting him. Have you ever seen her before? You know what? I don't know if I've ever seen her because she had a mask on. Okay, but she doesn't have the mask on anymore. You Does said. She have her mask on? I don't know. Okay. She still has her on. She still has. Okay, her I'm just gonna stay on the line with you until the police get there, so I'm, you know, I can know what's going on and let them know. Okay. Where is she? Where is she at in the store? Right by the cash register? Yeah, we, 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 I was down the aisle. Okay. And I was talking to one of my employees, and he's like, there's somebody, i just seen somebody walk behind the counter. And he, the police just came right now. Okay, they are there? Yeah, they are here. Okay, I'm going to let you go so you All can right. talk to them, okay? Okay. Bye. According to her father, who, like his daughter, wasn't identified, the girl robbed the store because her parents were getting divorced, and her mother told her a lie about how the house was going to be sold due to the divorce. So she robbed the store in order to pay for the house. The girl, whose father said to turn 12 years old on March, was charged with armed robbery as a juvenile. Police said she stole a gun and used it to try and make some cash from Country Lake Market in Highland Township. She was held at Oakland County's Children Village without bond. Her preliminary hearing was scheduled for April 26th, but no other information can be found about what happened to her.
On February 21st, 2011, 12-year-old Cynthia Valdez called 911 after two men broke into her house. She was home alone when she heard someone break through the front door of her house in Hylia, Florida. The sixth grader hid in the closet in her room and called 911 on her cell phone. Monday, February 21st, 2011. The time, 12.58 p.m. 911, what is the address of your emergency? West 79th Street. Is that a house or an apartment? A house. What's your phone number? Tell me exactly what happened. There's somebody, there's a guy, I'm home alone, and he's knocking on my door, please, I need somebody here, quick. Oh. He, opened, he opened the door. You open your front door? He opened it, he opened the door. What's your name? Hello? Thank you about that. What is it? Thank you about that. Please, I need somebody here, Stay please. on the line. Do you, are, is, are you expecting anyone? No, 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 I need somebody here, quick. Okay, stay on the line with me. Don't hang up. Hold on one second. Are you in a room or anything by yourself? No. Okay, can you get into a room somewhere that you're locked in and by yourself? No, no, I can't. Why can't you? He's in the house. He's looking at me, please. He's what? I need somebody here quick. Hello? I need someone here quick. Hello? Hello. Okay, what do you mean he's looking at you? Hello? He's not looking at me. I need someone here. Okay, how old are you? I'm 12. You're 12 and you're home alone? I need a police here quick. Okay, listen, I'm, I'm asking you regular questions so I can send the help out to you. Okay. Okay, can you get into your room or lock yourself in your room or something? No. Why not? Hello? Okay, I'm in the room. Okay, you locked yourself in the room? Yes. Okay, give me one second. And you're not expecting anyone? No. Okay. And you said he opened your front door? Yes. Okay, give me one second. And you tell, tell me your name again? Cynthia Valdez. Cynthia? Okay, and you said you locked yourself in your room now, right? No. And was she going through the, um, this guy was going through the front door, the back door? Did you see him? Did, did, did you see if he was yeah, white or black or what clothes he was wearing? White. He's white, had a green uh, uh, pasta shirt and a white What Lincoln. is it, a green shirt? Yes, and, and a white Lincoln. And what? A white Lincoln, a car. Give me one second. Like a, a regular four-door car? Yes. It wasn't an SUV or anything? It was a small car. Hold on a second. Hey, are you on the phone? You need to get off because I'm getting into the like, green. Can you see, did you see the tag or anything on the car? He's coming to my room, I hear him. Okay, give me one second. Can you listen? Stay on the, on the line. I'm, I'm with you on the phone. The police should be getting there, okay? okay. And where are your parents right now? My dad is almost home. What kind of car does your dad drive? A Dodge. I'm sorry? A Dodge or a, or a Mercury Mountain. What color? Um, the Mercury Mountain is gray and the Dodge is... What color, I'm sorry? The Mercury Mountain here is gray, silver, and um, the Dodge is one. What color is the Dodge? You hear him, like the door opening in your room? Yes. Okay, give me one second. Okay, you're doing good, all right? Stay on the phone with me. Hello? No. Okay, did you see if he had any kind of what? Well, I'm sorry? Okay, are you in the closet hiding? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
She's on the computer. Is the police here? Yeah, they're they're already in the area. Stay on the phone with me. Mm -hmm. Again, the address is West 79th Street. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just try to stay quiet unless something is, something else is going on, okay? Is he still in your room? He found out the police was here and he's running. He's running where? He's going out the front door. Stay in there, okay, until I tell you to come out, all right? Do you hear me? Yeah. Okay, just stay inside until I tell you to come out, all right? He's trying to go out the back door. Out the back door? Yes, he's trying to. Do you still hear him inside? He's what? He's trying to go out. Okay, again, stay in your, stay quiet in your room, okay? But he's still inside your house. Okay. He what? He's what? I couldn't hear that. What was that? He's probably trying to find the key to the key. Oh, okay. Stay on the line with me. What do you have, like a metal gate or something to get out? Okay. Stay on the line with me. Give me one second. There's a lot of people in the house now. I, I understand. Hold on. Hold on one second. Give me one second, all right? Is someone trying to call this girl? The police is here already. I hear them. Okay, I'm trying to wait for you to get out. Do they want her to step out or what? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Give me give me one second, okay? Don't don't Do you still hear him inside your house? Yes, the police are already here. They have dogs and everything. Okay, but do you do you still hear the guy inside your house? Yeah, they're telling the police is telling them to put their hands up. I'm on the phone with him. Do you still see this guy inside your house or he got out already? I can't see him. I'm in the closet. You can't because you're still in the closet? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're still inside your closet? Yes. Yeah. I really appreciate you for your house. No problem. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate it. It's okay. That's what we're here for. Okay, thank Hello? Hello. Okay, just stay on the line with me. Do you still hear him moving around inside your house? No, I think the back door is still open and that's why I hear the curtains moving, but I don't know if he's still there. What was that? I'm sorry? The curtains of my back door are moving because my room is close to the back. Because your room is close to the back? Okay, can you, I'm going to stay with you on the phone. I want you to stay on the phone with me. They want you to, to walk out and open those blinds. And open what? Yeah, if, just stay with me on the phone and go out. The blinds you just told me about? The what? The, you told me that there's, there's curtains, right? Yes. Okay, go, stay with me on the phone. The police want you to open the curtains so they could see inside. Do you, you don't do you see the guy inside? No. He's not in there anymore. Hello. Hello. I don't see the guy. Okay. Did you open the curtains? No. Who who 
Who's that talking? Hello? Hello? I'm outside with the police. Okay, you're speaking to the officers? I got the wrong name. Okay. No. Thankfully, she wasn't physically injured, but she was frightened. Officers arrived and arrested 25-year-old Michelle Torres and 35-year-old Pedro Estrada. They were charged with committing a burglary. On May 31st, 2014, a 14-year-old boy called 911 after he heard a man break into his house. 22-year-old McDowell Sherwood Jr. broke a rear window of a house on the 5500 block of McKinley Street in Hollywood, Florida. This was when the 14-year-old called 911 and described what was happening to the operator. Saturday, May 31st, 2000. 14. The time, 10, 31. 911, do you need police fire or rescue? Um, I think someone's trying to break into my home. Okay. Um, just off of, uh, just off of 56 Avenue. Okay, he so broke a know. window and I'm home alone. I'm 14. 14. Just a window, but I don't know what he can do next. Who is he? I don't know. Stranger. Uh, black tank top, I think I saw. I'm 14 and I'm home alone. Yes. Which window did he break? Oh, uh, one in the back. He already tried opening the door. I, that's, that's when I heard him. Did you see anyone? Um, just a single male black tank top. That's all I can really get right about now is at the, towards the description. And they tried to open the door in the back? Yes. Okay, and do you know... I heard, I, I heard, like, the door being pounded. I heard the knob trying to be turned. Okay, do you know if he's a white, black, or Latin male? Hmm? Do you know if he's a white, black, or Latin male? Um, probably, I can't say now, maybe he went away, but probably, oop, I mean, probably white. Um, but definitely not black, but I can't tell if he was Latino or white. And there's not much of a weapon in my house, so I don't have much to defend myself. What was he wearing? A black tank top, and I think he had something in his hand, whether it be a hammer or crowbar, I couldn't tell. But I can see the glass shattering. Maybe he just did that and ran away, but I don't really know right now. My parents are on their way home, but that's from Miami, so I don't know when they're going to be getting home. Okay, they're coming from Miami? Yes, they're, my brother's moving out of college today, so... What type of vehicle are they driving? Um, considering both vehicles are, are gone, I would say a white Kia Sorento, a dark blue Dodge Journey, and he's coming, and like a golden Hyundai Sonata. Okay. Oh, definitely. He's, he's coming in right now. In. You hear the glass? The, the finger. Yes, he's coming in. I can see him. Uh, definitely white, black, black, uh, tank top. Where are you at now? I'm in the front room with my shoehorn as a weapon. You're in the front room? Yes. Room? Near the front door. Can you go in the room and lock it? Yes, that's something we can do right now. I am now in my bedroom. Okay, where is your bedroom located in the house? Hmm? Where is your bedroom located in the house? Oh, uh, we have a long central hallway, and if you go down, from, if you're coming in from the front door, it's when you go down the central hallway, it's the second door, or the first one on the right. Second door on what side of the house? Is it on the east side of the house or what side of the house? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't say that right now. I don't know. Okay, so you don't know if it's on the east side or west side of the house? No, I don't. I'm sorry. It is the but we only have, it's the on, on the opposite side of the kitchen. Okay, the bedroom's on the opposite side of the kitchen? Yes. Do you still hear someone? Yes. Where um, ma'am, 
Is it okay if I can... What? Where do you see the person at? In the backyard, still banging glass. Oh, still in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's in yet. I don't hear anything now. Saturday, May 31st, 2014. The time, 10.35. Okay, and your room is on the outside of the kitchen? Yes. Hi, yes. Um, I have my daughter here, and I think, I think, um, one of her friends, her guy friends, he's 18, that's his daughter in the house. Okay, and you can't tell if your room is, um, towards the B-way, or... She ran away today, Sorry. Joe, um, so, I'm very sorry. Okay. I haven't called them yet. I called you first. Okay. Did you on their way home? Yes. I was thinking of putting you on speaker and sending them a quick text saying, hurry back. Okay. I'll give you Okay, you said you heard them in the back, in the back of the house? Mm-hmm, in the backyard. Okay. Can you go to the back? No, I'm not too scared now. Okay, the office is in the back. They're telling me now that the office is in the back and for you to go to the back. Okay, there should be a large oak tree. There are maybe two oak trees. Okay, yes, the office is in the back of the house. Yellowish house? Yellowish house. Okay, yeah, go to the back. Wait, 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 Um, does the officer see the broken glass window? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, maybe he ran away from the cops. I don't know. Okay, so the officer wants me to go to the back? Yeah, go to the back. Okay. Are you on a cordless phone? Can you go to the phone? Yeah, no, no, I'm on my cell phone. Okay, go, go to the back of the door with your phone. Wait, someone's in the house. I don't know if it's my family or not. Somebody's inside the house? Someone's inside the house. Okay, where? You hear someone inside the house? Yeah, I hear someone yell. Okay, stay inside your room. Okay. Bedroom should be the only door closed right now. Okay, your bedroom, his bedroom door should be the only door closed. Yeah. You said your bedroom is the second door from the front. Yes, if you were if you were to come from the front door, on the right would be a hallway. Okay, you come in the front door. It's the long hallway, and it's the second door. Across from the kitchen. No, no, you you come you come in the room. No, you come you come from the front door. You take your first right, and you look left. There's a hallway. If you will walk forward, my door. Mm. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, so if you walk forward from the front door, you take a few steps, turn right, go down, turn left. There's our long hallway. My door would actually be the first door on your right if you were looking towards the left. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, is there a window in your room? Yes, there is. Yes? Yes. Okay. How many windows is it on your side of the house to your room? Um, quite a few. There's actually a fenced-in, like, greenery area where our dogs used to run around. Um, that, my room is on that side. Um, I see someone saying I don't know if it's an officer or not. Okay, do you see them? Oh, I, I, see, I see an officer, I see an officer. Is um, he's not necessarily at my window, but he's at the front of the fenced in area. Uh, at the fenced in area. He's, he's right in front of the fence, I see him. He's right in front of the fence, the officer's in front of the fence. Yes. Can you come out through the door by your parents' bedroom? Um, yes, I'm coming out right now. Okay, 
Okay. 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 Officers also found a red suitcase lying on the floor near the front door, filled with items that included a PlayStation 3 console and some video games, microphones, and two pairs of Nike shoes. McDowell told police that he really needed the money and had to commit the burglary, knowing that he would have to serve prison time. The teenager was apparently shaken and under stress. Sherwood's bond was set at $75,000, On May 13, 2020, an employee at a gas station at 2120 New Bern Avenue in Raleigh, North Carolina, called 911 after the store was robbed. A man, later identified as 24-year-old David Tylek Atkinson, jumped over the store countertop, crashing through a plexiglass shield, and pointed a handgun at the store clerk. Wednesday, May 13. 2020, 19, 18, and 43 seconds. Nine one what's the location of your emergency? Hi, it is the BP gas station on New Bern Avenue, right next to Clarendon and Ferris. What's that? Repeat the intersection and make sure I have it correct. It is uh, Ferris and Clarendon on New Bern. It is the BP right there. What, do you have the address? No, I just walked out of the gas station and there's a dude robbing it right now. With a gun. He's got a gun. And you're saying Clarendon and Ferris? Yes, it's right next to Joe Jose's Pharmacy. Like okay, right I, don't, across, I don't know that. You're going to have to give me the... Okay, because I'm not showing a Clarendon and Ferris intersection. It's right across the street from Lord Berkeley and New Bern Avenue. I have the cleared in in New Bern. Is that where it is? Yes. Okay, and you said someone's robbing the BP? Yes, you got the cashier at gunpoint. Okay. And what is your name? What's the phone number you're calling me from? Okay, and what does the suspect look like? It was a black male. He was wearing a blue or gray hoodie, and he had a face mask on. Okay, and was he by himself? Uh, yes, he was. Did he arrive in car? Uh, no, he walked up. Okay. And where are you at right now? Um, I just pulled out of the gas station, and I'm on the other avenue. How do you know it's being robbed then? Say it again. How, how do you know that it's being robbed? Because I was in there, I ran out of the gas station as we had the uh, clerk at gunpoint. You ran out of the gas station? Did he see it's you run out? I don't know. Have you seen him leave? Uh, no, I can't see the gas station. Okay. What, what kind of car are you in? I'm in a, uh, like, tan Yukon Denali GMC. Okay. Okay. And where are you sitting at right now? I'm like next to the station. Um, but I'm on New York. Hold on, there's a cop. Let me... There's a cop. Okay. Just stay on the phone with me. Are they at the BP? He's, 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 there's a guy in there with a gun, uh, robbing him. That's are, are, the we just walked in. Does, does anyone need an ambulance? Hello? Uh, does anyone need an ambulance? Hello? 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 Can you hear me?
Hello? Hello? Hey, this is 911. We got disconnected. Hey, I'm hey. sorry. Yeah, I was talking to the police officer. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they, they, got into the they got what? I, there was a guy that showed them where they were running, and they took off to follow him, and then there was about 10 to 15 gunshots. And now I believe they're following him into the apartment complex. Do you know if anyone needs EMS? Um, I can't, uh, no, they, but they're arresting him. It looks like they have him, um, pinned on the ground. Should I, should I stop and wait here? No, no. Okay, okay. It, it, I'm going to continue going with I, okay, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. They may contact you for witness later, okay? But don't put yourself okay. in danger by staying there, okay? Well, I won't. I I would. Put, if you, yeah, definitely do not put yourself in danger, especially if you heard the gunshots, okay? Yeah, I I see them arresting him though. He's on the ground being arrested. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go then, okay? Okay, thank you for all your help. You're welcome. Bye bye. Wednesday, May 13, 2020, 19, 20, 1 and 56 seconds. 911, location of your emergency. Hello, this is family pair. Somebody is uh, uh, robbing me too. Hey, what's the address? Yeah, this is family pair. Hey, what's the address? Family pair. What's this your address? Yeah, newborn ever know? Seven All right, you're newborn? Yeah, yeah. All right, you said you were just robbed? Hello? You Somebody said robbing you? Robbed? What this way? Okay. You're right out yeah, this way. What was you wearing? Huh? What was you wearing? Why is it? Damn, I have... Hello? Okay. What's that noise I hear, sir? It's what? Okay. Who's shooting at who, sir? I can hear the shot. We have to stop here, okay? Okay. I'm new. Me okay. Me okay. The gunman stuffed cash and tobacco products into a bag. The entire robbery was caught on the store's multiple CCTV cameras. After robbing the store, David fled and the police pursued him. What happened next was captured on the officer's body cam. Shot, cleared in New Bern. Suspect down. Hey, what's this 
I don't know. Right here. He wasn't convicted of any crimes in North Carolina, but he did have outstanding weapons, alcohol and traffic charges in Guilford, Orange and Mecklenburg counties, according to court records. The clerk behind the counter, Akhtarul Khan, said that watching the CCTV footage of it scared him more than the actual events. Thankfully, with the exception of an officer being wounded, nobody was harmed, and one less criminal is forever off the streets. On February 12, 2019, in Jackson County, Georgia, a 79-year-old woman called 911 from her house after it was being broken into. The woman said she first saw the man on the back porch before he broke in. Thankfully, the woman was armed. Jackson County, 911. Uh -huh. I, I saw somebody on my back porch, but I can't see them now. They're making the noise. Oh, is that the noise that I just heard? <laughs> hit, uh, hit. Excuse me? Tell him hurry up. Uh, tell him hurry up. He's in 28. Listen to me. What, what, okay, listen to me. What's your name? There's a county call. Where Are they you? trying to get into your house? Yes, they're trying to get in the back door. Hurry, hurry, please. Okay, do you know if it's a male or a female? It's like a male. Okay, okay. Where are, you, where are you at right now? I'm in the kitchen, and I'm watching the door that they were trying to hit it. Oh, they're breaking glass. Come on, please. They're breaking glass. Okay, come on up in here. I got something for you. Ma'am, listen to me. <gasps> Ma'am. What was that noise? Somebody else is dispatching them out there to you. Somebody else is getting an officer on the way to you. Okay, come on. Where are you going right now? I'm I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. I got a, a client here. Please come on, hurry. Ma'am, ma'am, listen to me. Somebody else is dispatching officers to you. Okay, somebody else already has them on the way. What is your name? Please. Are they gone? No, they still out here in the yard. Somewhere. Okay. Right okay. Now. So they're still in the yard. Yes. They they now they're trying to get us another window. Hurry. Hello. You. Who are you? Okay, ma'am, I don't want you to confront them because you don't know who they are. No, ma'am, please. They, they're hollering, I think, they're upstairs now. They're hollering upstairs? I, you hear them? You hear them? Yes, they're upstairs doing something. Come on, please. Ma'am, listen to please. me. Somebody else is getting somebody to you. We've got four officers on the way. Okay. I'm just scared, ma'am. I'm just I, no, I completely understand, ma'am. I completely understand. We're here to help you, okay? Somebody else is getting somebody to you. Okay. Do you have any weapons with you? Yeah, I, I got my gun in my hand. I fired it one time. But I don't know if I got another grip to put it the Okay, so you have, you shot once at them? I don't, I didn't shot, shoot at them when they make up my lips. No, I got this shot, but they can see it. I hear them upstairs. Okay. Where is the client that you have in your house? Yeah, up in the front room. Okay, okay. Where is And you are you still in the kitchen? Yes, yeah, I'm still in the kitchen area. Okay. Please hurry, ma'am. We're, we're getting, we're, listen to me, we're getting somebody on the way to you. I'm going to stay on the phone with you until we get somebody there. Did they say anything when you yelled at them? They talking upstairs, ma'am. I want to okay. come okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. 
If you don't feel comfortable talking, that's fine. Just stay on the phone with me and keep the line open, okay? Okay, okay, I'm ready. Can I go outside? I'm just scared. That, that's up to you. If you, feel com if you feel more comfortable going outside, you and your client can go outside if that's what you feel is safe to do. No, I can't. I can't, can't get to my client. I'm scared. I'm leave out of this area. Where, somebody, listen to me. Somebody else is on the way. In there, we've got multiple officers on the way to you. Okay. They're making noise upstairs. Okay. How many? Do you know how many there are? I'm waiting. Come out. Do you know how many there are? At least one? Somebody, listen to me. Somebody else is getting them on the way to you, okay? We've got multiple officers in the, on the way, okay? And it's hurried. They, they're upstairs in my house. And I, okay. my neighbors ain't even at home. And Your neighbors aren't home? home? Okay. No, my neighbors at home. I got a blind person in here. Okay. Yeah, please hurry. Please hurry. Are you still in the kitchen? Yes, I'm still in the kitchen. It's taking okay. too long, ma'am. They are still talking crazy. Something wrong with them. Okay, so you don't know who they are at all? Did you actually see them enter your residence? I can't see them. I can't no, see did you see them when they came into your residence? No, I did come upstairs okay. on the door upstairs. I can't see up there. Tell the shaft to come on. They too slow. Ma'am, we we've got we've got about ten officers on the way to you right now. Okay. So that they're they're coming. Okay. Oh Lord, I'm so scared. I understand. Listen to me. Just take a deep breath for me, okay? Okay. Just take a deep breath for me, okay? His his officer right here. Thank you. You you have an officer on scene. Listen to me. I need you to put that gun down. Put the gun down. Yes, ma'am. Put if there's an officer there, I need you to put that gun down. He ain't got his yet. Okay. Listen to me. When he gets there, I need you yeah. to put that gun down before he gets to your residence. Okay. Okay. I sure will. I'll hide it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You don't, ma'am. You don't, ma'am. You don't have to hide it. If you need to lay it on the kitchen counter. When he gets there, I do not want that gun in your hand right, when he gets on. there. I'm waiting on you. Come on. Come on. Come, come on down if you see it. Ma'am, are you shooting at him again? Yes, ma'am. He, 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 he's running back up to him. He's coming to you. Come on. That's what I want you to do. Come on. Here's the officer. I'm going to lay the gun right up here. That's what kept me safe. Thank you. Where, where are you? Where are you putting the gun? Where are you putting the gun down at? On the on the counter. Is he upstairs? You can cover the back door and just go. He up. He started downstairs. She says she's gonna put the gun on the counter. She needs somebody to cover the back door and the front door. Okay, I have my own. Okay. This guy's down. He's up there talking to himself. He's up there talking to himself. Can you hear what he's saying? No, it's not making it. I'm so nervous. I can't hear. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, no, I understand. Listen to me, ma'am. Okay, we've got officers on the way to you. Yes. Okay, listen to me. The officer is there. Did you put the gun down? I put my... I put my Right. But you have you did not have the gun in your hand. Ma'am, is that the officer? Yes, the officer is here. Okay, all right. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you go and talk to him. But he's upstairs. I'm telling you. That's I'm gonna let you talk to them. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
You're welcome, ma'am. The suspect, 20-year-old Hans Rogers from Dallas, Georgia, was charged with burglary, home invasion, and criminal trespassing. He was being held without bond at the Jackson County Jail. Hans hid in an upstairs closet until deputies from Jackson County Sheriff's Office arrived and arrested him. He was apparently very frightened. He threw items down the stairs as he was up there. The woman told police that she was in the kitchen when she heard someone trying to open the window in her bathroom. She thought at first she was hearing noises, but then realized that somebody was trying to break in. The woman thought that the suspect ran away, but she then heard glass breaking upstairs. The first time, she fired the pistol towards the bathroom. The second time, she fired it towards the stairwell area, and the bullet hit the wall. I couldn't find any information as to what sentence Hans Rogers got. Thank you so much for watching the video, and thank you to my patrons, Vegard Brasson, Jesse Taylor, Caroline Banana, and Elizabeth May. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you again soon.